Hi everyone, I'm Daniel at QNAP and I'm here to talk about Security Counselor. Security Counselor is an app that finds vulnerabilities on your NAS and then it shows you how to protect yourself from those vulnerabilities. And Security Counselor makes this easy. It clearly states what the vulnerabilities are and it provides uh, links to where you need to go to change settings on your NAS to protect yourself from those vulnerabilities. So with Security Counselor, it's actually pretty easy to secure your NAS. So even if you're brand new to NAS, it should not be very hard to protect yourself. Security is important, and that's because the data on your NAS is valuable. Um, for example, hackers might try to encrypt your data and then charge you a ransom to unencrypt it. They might try to use your NAS for Bitcoin mining. They might try to gain control of your NAS and use your NAS to infect other uh, devices on your network. They might try to get sensitive information. And there's really a lot of hackers out there who do regularly try to hack into our NAS. And so having the right settings to protect yourself is important. And Security Counselor shows you what settings you could change. And Security Counselor makes this really easy. So some of the obvious things that people have done that makes themselves very vulnerable to attack are an admin account that's been abused, using the default password, setting up your device on an external network without defensive measures, not regularly checking checking for viruses. Uh, but there are other uh, settings or other things people have done that make them vulnerable that maybe are not as uh, obvious. And Security Counselor finds those things, it finds those vulnerabilities, and shows you uh, what changes you can make to protect yourself. First, a Security Counselor will uh, run a checkup. It will find the risks uh, to your NAS and it will categorize them based off severity. It clearly states what the risk is and when you click on that risk it shows you how it takes you right to where you need to go to make those changes and it shows you clearly uh, what you need to do to protect yourself in a very easy simple way. Um, something else that's good about Security Counselor is right from Security Counselor you can run your anti-malware, antivirus, you can scan, you can view the report and also Security Counselor links to, uh, to our our security advisory so that you can uh, stay informed about new threats uh, that uh, have been discovered. Not dealing with security concerns can be costly. Uh, for example, in a survey I, uh, by Ixia, they found that 53% of victims were not aware of their vulnerability. It took 191 days from intrusion to identification and 66 days from identification to uh, curb the problem. So this could cost a lot and uh, worldwide uh, this could cost uh, billions. On the other hand, uh, using Security Counselor is free and in one minute of your time and three easy steps, uh, you can protect yourself. So these are the three steps. The first step is run a checkup. So it runs a checkup and it finds um, what, sec what security vulnerabilities you have and it categorizes those vulnerabilities based off severity. Step two is to read the report. When you read the report, um, it'll, it'll just point out these things it finds. Like for, in for instance, it'll check, do you have the most up-to-date firmware? And if you don't, it'll, it'll say towards the top of the list that that's a vulnerability because we do regularly come out with firmware updates whenever we find a security flaw or security concern, we, we patch that to stop uh, many of the attacks just by updating the firmware. We'll check are your apps up to date. It will check, for example, do you have network access protection? This can stop hackers from repeatedly trying to log into your NAS again and again and again. It can make sure you're not using the default password. It checks for all these things. And in the report, it categorizes these, these vulnerabilities based off severity. Then as you read the report, you can just click on a specific uh, vulnerability and then it takes you right to where you need to go to make the change. So step one, run the checkup, then read the report, click on a threat, and then step three is make the change. So for example here, this threat is the SSH port uses the default value. When you click on it, it takes you right to where you can go to change the default value. So this is a very simple uh, these changes are very easy to do. Even if you're a brand new beginner, it shows you exactly what you need to do, takes you exactly where you need to go to make that change. Security Counselor also has an option to automatically apply the changes to secure your NAS, so you don't even have to manually do it yourself. Now consider if you want to do this or not. Um, I personally like to uh, manually make the changes myself so I know exactly the changes that were made, but in some situations uh, this can save some time, so it is an option you have. Security Counselor lets you choose 
the level of security that you're going for. You can choose advanced, intermediate, basic, custom, and this affects the advice it gives you. So if you choose advanced, it's going to advise you to make more changes, for example. And you might say, well, shouldn't I just always choose advanced? Shouldn't I always just choose the best security possible? And you could choose the best security possible, but just keep in, keep in mind that some of the security uh, changes you might be advised to make may not always be, uh, some of those changes might involve some degree of inconvenience. And when you choose advanced, it prioritizes high security over over convenience, intermediate somewhere in the middle, and basic is, tends to prioritize convenience more and just uh, advise for a basic level of security. So an example of this is two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentic authentication makes your NAS uh, a lot more secure, but it does take a little bit longer to log into your NAS because first you type in your username and password, then you take um, open your phone, open up the app, get the code, then type in the code. So it just takes a little bit longer to log into your NAS. So it gives a uh, significantly better secure, security, but at some inconvenience. And so you can choose advanced, intermediate, basic to, to balance that convenience versus security. And we also have custom, where you customize uh, the ways it advises you to protect yourself. Besides uh, advising you on the settings you can change to protect your NAS, Security Counselor links to your antivirus, anti-malware, so that right from Security Counselor, you can run scans, you can uh, you can view the report. And this is important because if you are infected, uh, catching that infection soon can really help uh, prevent it from spreading and doing more damage. Security Counselor also links to security advisory. So what happens from time to time is maybe we'll find a vulnerability in our firmware, we'll uh, make an update to patch that vulnerability, and then there might be an advisory saying there's this vulnerability, but if you have the new up-to-date firmware, you're protected. So uh, let's demo this. Let's demo Security Counselor. So this is what Security Counselor looks like. So uh, over here, I can uh, run security checkups. I can do um, malware, um, antivirus scans, view the reports. So let's run a, run a checkup right now. So it's found eight security concerns. I'll view the report. So I'll just highlight a few of these. So here's an example. The NAS allows for installation of non-QNAP store apps. Since they're not from the official QNAP store, uh, QNAP can't regulate them as well, and there could be some security concerns. So I'll click on this. Notice it took me right to where it says allow installation of non-QNAP store apps, and it's checked. So I could very easily uncheck this and not allow that. And so Security Council, when it finds a threat, you click on the threat, it just takes you right to where you need to go to make the change. It makes it very easy. We also have our suggestions assistant. I'll go to manual first. So here it has these security concerns, and over here it doesn't just say what the concern is, but it actually suggests what changes you make to protect yourself. So here, HTTPS port uses the default value. It suggests uh, change the HTTPS port, and to avoid system conflict, set the port between 51,000 and 55,000. So if you just view what the threat is, HTTPS port uses the default value. Well, the obvious thing is change it from the default value. But the suggestion just gets a little more specific to say, when you choose a new value, choose between 51,000 and 55,000 to avoid conflict. So just give you some more uh, precise advice of what to do to avoid problems. So I think this is actually really helpful. If you're brand new to NAS, this can tell you exactly what you need to do and it shows you how to avoid issues. Also, from here, you can have Security Counselor automatically make the changes to protect your NAS. But notice it, it, it won't automatically change everything. So for the default uh, port example, it wants you to manually choose the port, probably so that you know what port you chose. And so that one's not here in automatic. It won't automatically change the port. It'll have you manually change the port. But most settings can be um, changed automatically, just not all. The reason there's only two here that can automatically be done is because I've already made most of the changes that recommended. And so these are just a few I haven't done yet. So the majority of changes can be done automatically, save some time, or you can just choose to change everything manually so you, so you know exactly what you did. The choice is yours. So here's where I, I set my level of security I'm going for. So I have it set to intermediate security, and so these are the things it checks for. So is the NAS using the latest firmware? Are the apps up to date? Um, 
Has the administrator's default password been changed? There's many things that it checks for, but this is what it checks for with the intermediate. If I choose advanced, it'll check for more things, uh, basic less things, and I can choose custom. So with custom, what's checked is what it checks for, and what's not checked is what it does not check for. So for example, does the NAS uh, force account passwords to change every 90 days? I would personally uncheck this, but maybe you want it checked, but here's where I can customize and say, I don't really want it to advise me to change the password every 90 days. For example, this is where you can make those changes. And this is in this way you can have a high level security in the areas where you care about, but maybe there's other areas where you don't want as much advice. Here's where you can do the uh, network access uh, protection. This is very important. Um, hackers will typically try over and over and over again to log into your NAS. And their hope is that eventually maybe they'll get lucky and get your password. Well, network access protection can stop them from repeatedly trying to log in. So I have it set to deny connections from the list. You could choose allow all connections, deny connections from the list, or only allow connections from a particular list. This would be the most secure, but then if you're some other place if, where there's an IP address not on the list, then you can't get into your NAS. So I've chosen deny connections from the list, so it allows connections unless they're from this list. They get on this list by repeatedly trying to log in. If there's five failed attempts to log in within 30 minutes, that, the, that IP address is blocked forever and added to this uh, deny list. From here, you can also... Um, update your, your certificate, your TSL certificate for a secure connection to the NAS. You can adjust your password policy. So here's where you can set up uh, two-factor authentication, for example. Over here, you can download apps to protect your NAS. So Malware Remover, uh, McAfee, and the antivirus is already part of, of QTS, but you can also download McAfee. That's a premium option. Malware Remover. These can uh, both be downloaded from the App Center. But we just wanted to make it uh, more convenient so you can download it right here. And here is the security advisory. So I have it set to notify me of new security advisories when logging into QTS. Also, I can click right here and it takes me to the security advisory. And so that's just, you know, from time to time, if we find a vulnerability in our firmware, we'll make an update to patch that vulnerability and just send an advisory saying, you know, advisories let you know about the upcoming threats so that you can be aware and protect yourself. So this is security, uh, security counselor. From one place, you can uh, run checkups. You can uh, get advice on what settings to change that make it really easy. You can uh, do uh, VIANs, malware scans, um, get apps to protect yourself, security uh, linked right to security advisory. So you can do a lot from this one app, and it makes security really easy. So if you're brand new to NAS, you know, it should not be hard to protect yourself. One thing to note, though, is that to download Security Counselor, you need QTS 4.3.5 or newer. As long as you have reasonably up-to-date firmware, then from the App Center, you can download Security Counselor. And then this makes protecting your NAS uh, easy. So I hope this helps. I hope you're able to make good use of this. Um, security, um, securing your NAS is important, and it's easy, so there's really no good reason not to. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Um, this concludes the webinar.